Zane, Zane, moments from now, you step into the ring against a mystery opponent handpicked by the PCW office. Once again, I'm the point of surprise in PCW. Well, let me tell you more on one thing. I'm the master surprise. <laughs> At Triple Xmas, I surprised everybody with my 500-pound <laughs> tag team partner, Crusher Kong, including the Keg Brothers. They still have scars from that one. And then I surprised everybody by joining the International Players Club. <laughs> and after that, I surprised everybody by sending that 500-pound monster out of PCW forever. So tonight, if you want to surprise me, well, I'm the master of surprises. I'm the master of surprises. I got the biggest, best surprise in the history of PCW right back here with me tonight. And you're going to find out what it is, because tonight, PCW gets turned up, side, down. Well, Zane Morris claims that he has the biggest surprise in the PCW. On his part, I happen to know different. I happen to know who his mystery opponent is. And I can't wait to see him walk behind his coaches and come out here to face the Violet Man, also known as Zane Morris, Paul. Dan Michael, the server of the Violet Shut up. Anyway, as we anticipate the arrival of our combatant here, I want to know what Violet Z surprise is. Before we do anything else, let me introduce you, you, and you to my brand new manager and business partner. Hit the music! Now he claims he's got a brand new business partner and manager. I have no idea who this man could be. I haven't seen Violent Z associate with anybody in quite some time. No way! You have got to be kidding me. That's Rick Bones. Everybody! Welcome, Mr. Rick! Can he just to where I sit right now? As a matter of fact, he did for quite some time. Rick Vogt, the original co-host of professional championship wrestling, is now in the ring. Thank you, Zane Morris. Mr. Michaels, you see you've got a new partner there with the Jeremy Sage, not hacking after one week. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to cut this crap off and go to commercial. When we come back, the mystery opponent for Violet Z as the PCW Arena turns up, side down. Zane! I think that I'm Derek Martin. Quiet down. I've got all night. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with more professional championship wrestling, and this moron is still in the ring. We are anticipating the arrival of the hand-picked mystery opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the man is back in the PCW. After a long hiatus, he may not be the best looking, he may not be the best belt, but he is the greatest entertainer to ever step into the PCW arena. Ladies and gentlemen, C. Diddy is back. The PC forward. Oh, this is huge. One of the original players. The fact you see him wearing the player's shirt right here on the back. Oh, here we go. Oh, my goodness. C. Diddy showing why he is one of the greatest entertainers of all time. Oh, my goodness. You call Look at this man go. You call this Sanchez? He gets the win, and did you notice every one of the knockouts follow this man from behind the arena? And there he is, taking the money maker here in front of our capacity crowd. I, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Well, then you'll be doing just fine where Jeremy is, because he never had anything to say either. Irish whip, same words goes in the turnbuckle. Here comes Kid. Oh, boot to the face. God, it's good to see this man back in the PCW. Zane Morris on top, Brandon. Oh, my God, the weight of Zane Morris coming right down on the face of Sue Kinney. Oh, my God, that momentum just took him straight back. It certainly did do that. Sue Kinney back in the PCW. Damn, I can't tell you how glad I am to see this man part of professional championship wrestling. Right that flip. Right off the second rope. He doesn't hit. Uh, one, two, and three. My God, my God, my God. It's Richard Tarn. In record time, Diddy has a tremendous showing here in the PCW ball. Oh my God, that, that must have been like 12 seconds or something. Steve Diddy is back. Look, folks, a 
accompanied by Rick Folks. I'm sorry, Zane Moore is accompanied by Rick Folks is now 0 and 1. Look at the moves by the man himself. Go, Tini. Wait a minute, what is Zane doing? Zane was going over to the knockout table. He's got something in his hand. Paul, I believe he's got a hammer. He's got a hammer. Rick Folks trying to get the attention of C. Diddy. Wait a minute, that will get his attention. Coming up to the close up. Oh, oh God, the hammer right to the head of C. Diddy. That is not a ball peak hammer. That hammer's got a claw on it, Paul. And he is planting it into the forehead of C. Diddy. Oh, God. This is brutal. Rick Vogt directed Zane Morris to do what he does best, and that is a quick, dangerous punishment. Oh. I think Diddy's cut open. I think Diddy is cut open, folks. Oh, he's definitely cut open. Oh. oh Rick Vogt cheering from the inside now. Zane Morris repeated blows to the face. Oh, see, Diddy, he's got this face monkey. No, I take that back. It is, look at Rick Vogt. My God, oh. what a disgusting factor to have in our arena. I'm not the biggest Canyon fan in the world, but that shouldn't happen to anybody. His name is no longer Canyon, Paul. He is affectionately known as C. Diddy. C. Diddy, C. Diddy. okay. I got, like I got and in my from what I've been told, the space monkey is now referred to as the Zane Moore submission hold of fame. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, Listen to me, when we come back, we'll have an update on the condition of Mike Fox.